there are clear distinctions between love and lust and mixing lust with love will lead to confusion and lack of clarity which will further obfuscate our existence so first of all understand that love is generated from mind and lust is generated from the senses love being generated from the mind because mind itself represents the highest most superior sense or the master of the senses is of a higher quality than lust lust is basically the contact of the vishaya with the indriyarth indriya or the object of sensual gratification with the senses in the most primeval evolutionary case senses were evolved to guard and protect against outside invaders which could threaten your biological existence so that is why you have the eyes the ears the nose so close to the brain or the central nervous system so that any threat can be rapidly conducted to the brain so when they are not protecting us from some outside invader some calamity some animal that is going to eat us in the next 10 minutes then the senses are bored and that is where the surge for dopamine comes so the secondary role of the senses is to create recreation create some pleasure in leisure so when you are not guarding or protecting your vital biological integrity you are engaged in entertaining yourself and this is where the problem starts because the entertainment should come from the mind and not the senses senses should be used for protection of the vital integrity and mind should be used for whether you call it entertainment or purpose fulfillment that is the role of the mind so first point again mind is where love arises or should arise and senses is where the lust arises lust basically represents combination of the vishaya with the indriya object of sensual gratification with the senses so that is why that uh, complex leads to release of dopamine or the feel good pleasure now since the combination cannot be sustained for a long period of time there will be decoupling of the object or the ligand from its receptor and hence the state of spiked pleasure or dopamine cannot be sustained over time other uh, compared to this the love is perpetual because love is arising in the mind and there is no confirmatory complementary molecular structure that needs to be attached one to the other the receptor to the ligand that is why love will be more perpetual love will be more peace generating whereas senses were more pleasure generating so the third point that you should know is that love represents the fulfillment of dharma whereas senses represent the fulfillment of kama kama arises from your uh, the gunas or the material modes of nature environmental influences that you choose to surround yourself with be it your friends be it the environment you are living in be it the circumstances that you have created around yourself that is gunas so gunas will create the kamas which will be acted upon by the senses or the indriya to create bhog indriya bhog pleasure dopamine surge whereas when you have recognize something as your purpose in life it can be i will take care of my kids i will make sure that certain individual uh, has a good life i will take care of my aging parents these are all dharma generated from the love or the prem so when there is fulfillment of dharma at the mental realm there is more peace you feel good about yourself you have fulfilled your purpose that is the realm of uh, love whereas lust is about a instant surge 
a stimulus that needs to be rapidly fulfilled. Even if you don't fulfill, that surge will subside. But it is hoping that while it is surging, it's going to enslave you into doing that stuff. So my friends, in short, there are three basic distinctions between love and lust. Love is superior. Love arises in the mind. Love comprises fulfillment of dharma. Hence, leads to peace and perpetual state of happiness. Whereas uh, lust arises from the senses, combination of the receptor to the ligand, the vishaya to the indriya, causing a temporary surge, a spike in the pleasure sensation of dopamine and then it will die down and then you will be in the state of, uh, in the state of emptiness and love is uh, fulfilling your dharma whereas lust is fulfilling your karma. The more you fulfill the karma, because kamesh, krodesh, rajogun, sodbhava, mahashanu, mahapapma, vaidyanam, hivaranam, the more you fulfill karma, there is more attachment to the vishaya. The more the attachment to the vishaya, more the addiction, which is the state of learned helplessness, the state where enjoyment has become an obligation instead of a fun-filled activity that you uh, choose through free will. So addiction is what happens for repetitive surges of karma leading us to combine our uh, objects or vishayas to the indriyas without even the surge. Now you are supposed to be doing that thing. So this compulsory uh, compulsion is the addiction that happens from repeated uh, revisions or uh, repeated attachments of the vishaya with the indriya. Hence, there is more uh, karma bandhan. There is more papa. There is more uh, reincarnations that will happen if you have certain vessels and vyavahars, certain uh, personalities and certain prediction, uh, predilections. Then you will be having more reincarnations. Um, whereas when you are in love, fulfilling your dharma, nothing left for you to do. You are ready for liberation. Manhi manushya naam karan bandham mokshaya bandhai vishya suktam muktam nir vishyam smritam. As Amrit Bindu Upanishad says, manhi manushya ka uh, karan hai bandhan. और मोक्ष का अगर वो विषयों में निप्त है तो फिर वो कर्म बंधन कराकर पुनर्जन्म कराती है और अगर वो विषयों से मुक्त है तो फिर आपका प्रबोधन एनलाइटेनमेंट होता है एंड यू डोंट हैव टू कम बैक हियर सो माइंड इज व्हाट द स्टेट ऑफ माइंड आई शुड से इज व्हाट डिटरमिन्स वेदर यू विल रीइनकार्नेट और लिबरेट इवेंचुअली सो ट्राई टू फुलफिल योर धर्म ट्राई टू हैव लव जनरेटेड फॉर नॉट ओनली your parents, your family members, but for the community society, because that arises from the anhad chakra, the higher chakra in the heart, whereas the sacral plexus or the second highest chakra in the sacrum uh, is the where the lust, leisure, pleasure, comfort, all those things arise and those will be only temporary surgeries. So knowing the distinction is very important. Uh, most of the times when a guy tells a girl, I love you, what he means is I lust you because he has to recruit his senses to create a demonstration of affection. And whenever you recruit your senses to create a demonstration of affection, that itself is lust, that is temporary. And that is why you will see so many couples having breakups. But your love for your child, the love for your parents is more perpetual because there is no senses involved in that kind of affection. So try to make your affections more in the realm of love and less in the, less of, uh, in the realm of lust. The lust that arises is from the past samskaras, from your past lives, from your past animal uh, lives that you have lived. So it will slowly subside if we concentrate and force more on Panch Pratyahara and Tri Yoga. That will lead to generation of love. That will lead to more mental clarity in everything you do. Hope you like this lecture. Please feel free to leave your comments below. Jai Shri Ram.